Well, temperatures have been on the warm side today, mostly breezy conditions. We're able to see, though, that camera is just shaking there in our South Texas College Cam. Right now, those temperatures in the 80s here in McAllen, 62 degrees for that dew point. Winds out of the southeast at 23 miles an hour. Down in Brownsville, expecting those temperatures a little bit on the cooler side, still seeing those breezy conditions, those uh, windy conditions lasting for the rest of today. However, as we head into those overnight hours, we are expecting the potential for some thunderstorms. Some of these could be severe, high winds being a high, a high risk with a low tornado threat, a low large hail threat, and a medium threat for flooding as we head into tomorrow morning there. Looking at the uh, so those rain chances for the next several hours, expecting those rain chances to pick on up as we head closer towards the 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, jumping up to 70% chance of widespread rain for us here across the valley going into 9, 10 o'clock. That's going to be lasting into tomorrow morning. This is all associated with a cold front that is moving through the state right now, seeing some winter weather in portions of West Texas, and actually we're seeing uh, an actual an actual tornado warning in effect for just the portions of Harris County just outside of Houston there affecting the Katy area. So we're expecting some severe weather with this system as it's continuing to move across the entire uh, state of Texas there as we head into the overnight hours. But uh, other than that, for us here, mostly clear skies. We're seeing just a few showers along the coast, moving a little bit closer towards South Padre Island, partly cloudy conditions. When we time all this out, we're expecting that cloud cover to remain in the picture as we head in those afternoon hours. And then as we get closer towards 7, 8 o'clock, expecting increasing showers and then once that cold front moves on in that's where we're going to start seeing those storms starting to flare up especially from West Laco to Raymondville along the coast so some of these could be severe expecting to probably wake up early tomorrow morning because we're going to probably hear some lightning and thunder with this as we go into those overnight hours into tomorrow morning expecting those skies to clear out for the rest of New Year's Eve but behind that a lot more cooler temperatures expected looking at the future temperature trend expecting those temps to be in the upper 40s to low 50s as we wake up tomorrow morning and then only get up into the 60s for us here across the valley. So we're expecting that cool down for tomorrow that's going to be lasting well into New Year's Eve. Those overnight lows dropping down into the low 40s. So expecting New Year's Eve to be a little bit on the cold side for us here across South Texas. Looking at our forecast there, New Year's Eve tomorrow, topping out at 64, clearing expected in those evening hours, low of 43 for New Year's Eve night, lasting into New Year's Eve day, expecting mostly sunny skies skies with highs in the 60s. As we head into the rest of our weekend, we're expecting to see mostly clear and sunny skies, that warming trend in effect as we go into next Monday and Tuesday. But tonight, overnight lows dropping down into the low 50s, becoming chilly in the overnight hours. Winds gusting up to 25 miles an hour. We could see some gusts up to 30 miles an hour as we head into tomorrow. Expecting those highs to be in the mid-60s. Lingering morning storms are possible, but then we'll be clearing in those afternoon hours. For your seven-day forecast, expect that warming trend to take place as we head through the week. Weekend. Highs of 70 degrees. Expect Saturday and Sunday to be on the pleasant side. Overnight lows still on the chilly side in the low 50s to mid 40s, staying rather mild as we head into the start of Sunday and Monday, topping out at 79, hitting the 80 degree mark going into next Tuesday. Expecting another cold front for next Wednesday that could bring us a 20% chance of coastal showers.